All right, so yeah, we last beat Arby's Clock Tower, and we got the secret falling on the left side, so now we're moving on to World 3. All right. Soaring Saguaro. Let's check it out. All right. Oh, is this a sky tree? I me thinks it is. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay, I can jump through like that, so let's look ahead a bit. So, platform, another wall run, a spin jump. Okay, gotta be ready to spin jump. We're gonna grow this sky tree. Or my name's not Luigi Mario. Oh, I gotta go higher. Okay. I've never killed a muncher. Can they say the same thing about humans? I've never killed one muncher. I've been a party to the deaths of munchers, but I've never personally killed one. All right, H. So we got a second sky tree here. Whoops, I'm probably doomed. Alright, so we come up here, right, left, right, left, right, left, and we get a throw block, and with that throw block we need to fall back down and, and shoot it that way, to the left, I just dropped it there, and then the vine will eat the uh, that kill space up, up there. Yeah. Oh, I can swim in that, okay. Okay, but then I die. So I kick the shell and then I bounce to the orb. Okay? There's a door up there. How do I get that door? No, because I think uh, the sky tree passes through. If there is a sky tree in this column, it will pass through this area. But now I'm wondering if is this possible? Is this possible to do with the checkpoint? Is this like a one-shot secret? Do I have to have the sky tree from the first section to do this? Do I have to do this with no checkpoint all in one go? Or is there another way? Yeah, it's definitely this column. Yeah, okay, that's what I was starting to feel. Okay. So, we will die to this muncher. And we'll try to get the orb first. We'll get the regular exit. Or I guess there, there's only one exit, but we'll get the secret. I wish there was a button to, like, disable my checkpoint. Hey, my MC, thanks. Sorry if I say your name wrong. Thank you so much for the raid. All right, maybe I can like, oh, that was bad. Yeah, I, I need the vine there. Oh no. Kill me, shell. Oh, I couldn't even, oh, okay. Well, that was some assistance. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the pokey head, it's like a kind of like a pokey, it definitely looks really cute. It's like a vine pokey. 
Very cute. We are in agreement. Alright. Oh! Orb! It worked! Now, Newgasm, please tell me if that was how you're supposed to do it. Thanks for the GGs. Before I start Hot Potato, I might try to one-shot that level at least once to get that secret door. Because if I keep the both Sky Trees going, I think I can get into that door. Yeah, I, I had no idea until recently. I actually just started playing Kaizo last month. It's been a, a lot of fun. But it's really fun to watch, too. I agree. That's one of the reasons I uh, got into it. My friend showed me uh, a Kaizo hack, Supersonic Saves the World. And I was like, wow, this looks like a lot of fun. Oh no, I think I'm too slow. All right. All right, we're in. There's a key. Is there a, a secret keyhole? Hold on. I learned how to do this. I can do this. I got a secret earlier this way. No? Okay. I think I can get on that vine with the key. I'm probably wasting time here and doing something that makes no sense. There I don't know if there'd be a keyhole up there. Some, I don't know if you can have an invisible keyhole. Yeah. The key jump's really cool. It was really hard. It took me like 40 minutes just to be able to do more than one. I like just stayed at one spot and I kept doing key jumps. Whoops. But I got a little better at the inputs. I haven't got a double y yet, but... That's all I need to get that height. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna keep doing this just because I'm gonna take Newgasm's word there. Like, I don't think they'd do that. I'm just gonna take my key with me and get the orb. All right, cool. But we got the secret. I'm happy about that. Because I could spend like forever keep trying to key jump there. Uh, okay, hot potato. Let's check out the next level. Thanks for the GGs. Okay, bombs. Oh yeah, I gotta like kick these, right? They'll explode on me if I don't. Oh, whoops. I fell down before I kicked him. Yeah, the music is really cool. That's one really cool thing about the uh, ROM hacks for Kaizo is the custom music. I really, like, it makes replaying hard levels so much less stressful because there's so much good music. Okay, I need to do, like, a neutral jump there, and I need to throw the bomb turn block, and there's some kind of gate there. The, like, climbing wall. Whoops. Oh, he's gonna blow up if I'm not quick, right? Oh! <laughs> Whoops! Um... Well... Awkward. Yeah, and by the way, uh, McAm my MC, uh, the we just referenced there, Baby. It, there's a hack I played before this one called Baby Kaizo World. It's another beginner hack. Like these are all beginner level hacks, really. But uh, it's another one, and uh, I played it recently, and it taught me a lot more about how to do some of these tricks. So if you're interested in getting into Kaizo, if this looks fun to you. There are hacks that like kind of ease you into it and you can do what I'm doing and just like slowly kind of work your way up from the easy ones to the harder ones. 
it's a lot of fun. Oh, I messed up. Okay, yeah. I gotta go quick there. Alright. So I'm guessing... Oh, shit. Oh! Alright, H is right there. So I have to jump and throw the bomb midair, and then the muncher will drop down and I can clear that gap. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't neutral. I keep tapping right for some reason. I don't need to. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this H real quick and check out what's up in this fight. Secret. We've got a shell and a mole. Thank you for the H. And we can take this shell and we can kill the mole. And then we can do a shell jump and we can take the shell with us. And now we have a shell. We could use a shell there, but we don't need to. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I have to throw the bomb in and then go in after it. I know a lot of people in Kaizo don't like the green bean. I don't mind the green bean. I do make some mistakes on it, but I've heard a lot of people, like, hate the green beans. Okay. No, bomb, don't blow up. Okay. No. No. Oh my, I did, I did not just do that. So I have to take him up here and the goal's right there. Oof. I did not just do that. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, that's way easier. And we're in! Goal. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. But that was a fun level. Bomb escorts are pretty fun. Thanks for the GG. Alright, elusive numbers. Let's check it out. All right. Ooh, okay. This is some platforming going on. Hey, cat makes, what's up? How you doing, cat? Gotta ride the platforms. Why am I not react? I'm like getting onto that platform and I'm like, yes, I'm comfortable now. I am safe on this platform. No need to react to any danger. I am now secure. Oof. No! So I'm guessing I have to jump onto that, then jump back to the three. Or I have to get over the munchers right away to get into that pipe. That pipe is the secret. I think I have to go fast. I, have, I think I want to jump over the munchers immediately. Too soon. If I waited like half a second longer, I think that would have been it. Oh, we're in! The satisfaction, the dopamine, he did it. Whoa! This is exactly how amazed I am.
Alright. Thank you, Secret. I now have you. Thank you. Alright, well, we got the Secret. So now we have to figure out the actual thing we're supposed to be doing here. Which I think is something like this, and then maybe something like this. And then an H! Okay, well, nice. So now we go down here, and up here, and up and over, and we want to fall down. Oh shit, no, we need to go lower. Thank you for the H. Alright, here we go. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't jump. I should land on it and then jump over. Okay. PB. No! I don't want to die. I have to go fast there. Alright. Why am I jumping? Okay, well, saved it. Alright. Oh no! Well, there's the goal. That's... that happened. Goal! We're in. Alright, so that's another one down. And we're moving on to Pokey Desert. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, oh okay, I saw those red coins, they did not react in time. Alright. No, the Yoshi spawning like lagged it a bit. This is what gaming is all about. Alright, we can get up there in one go. So then we come down here. So I gotta lick that guy and jump up. Okay. Alright, slide down. Oh, okay. So I have to jump off that guy, hang out where that coin is, then fall on the next one. To get this first hit, and then I tap right. I'm dead again. Oh, no, I did not die. Barely. Oh, I missed him. That was close, though. PB. Okay. All right. Wait a second. Is there a secret on top of this place? Like if I jump from where that muncher is? Up to the right, maybe? Above the level? Well, I, I needed to go fast there. I didn't feel like there was a secret up there. Oh, well I got the H. I think I can check that again. Okay, there's nothing up there, but we got the H. So we got a Yo another Yoshi here. Oh, I didn't hold jump, but we got it. I got I. I know what to do. I'm maybe maybe I'm not fully understanding how I do the double E. I thought I got it, but it seems to be inconsistent. Oop, close. Okay. All right. No mushroom. I need you. And we're through the goal. 
All right, another level down. That was Pokey Desert. Thanks for the GG. Uh, blocks on the rocks. Well, it rhymes, so it must be a good level. Let's check it out. Okay, bullet bills. Oh, I... I think I get it. I'm not meant to kill those bullet bills that way. I see. I have to like go around and then we get pushed up to not hit the, the Kaizo. Like, like that. But don't die to a muncher. And then I have to jump, throw the throw block. I think I have to, do I have to catch it again to hit the switch again? Okay, I think I see. Well, wait, can I survive there? Hold on. Oh my god, you can just survive here by running into it? <laughs> yeah, so I throw it and then jump and catch it. That's pretty funny, though. Alright, so then I want to go from here, I hit the switch, jump to the next platform, jump to the next one, throw the jump, but throw the block up to land on it. Something like, okay, that's a death block, so I get a spin jump. Alright. And then I slide that over and I spin jump onto that block. And then I block jump up and hit it to the left. Okay. I think. Hmm. Maybe I should just block jump munchers. It's always the munchers. No. I, I have no choice now. Okay, got it that time. H! Alright, there's a disco in there. What does this disco do? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, I was in the block and died. Whoops. Thanks for the H. Oh shit, that disco was coming for me. So then I come over here, and then like that, like that. Oh, but I gotta catch it again. Okay. Oh, I didn't block jump. Whoops. I guess I could have just grabbed it, but... Where's the fun in that? And I hit the muncher trying to dodge the disco shell. This is the one. The one where I... I didn't get to finish saying it. I was going to say this is the one where I died at a disco shell. So I was right. It's absolutely correct in that analysis. I made a very good prediction there. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the Switch platform on. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. So I think this is a GG. I think I got the goal. Yep, alright, no troll. I almost hit that switch, like, immediately, like, just impulsively hit that switch. That would have been bad. I guess I could have turned it back on, but if I ran into the goal right away. Alright. Yoshi's Lair. Uh oh. The final confrontation? 